Hello friends and neighbors. So I occasionally get the question, what have I got in the gearbox? Well, I just brought this stuff in out of the car, so let's see what it's like. No setups, no nothing. I use two boxes, of course. One being a box in the form of a bag. Pedal train. And what are these guys? It's like an old uh, briefcase projector type of thing. Huh? You would carry a projector in. So, pedal train. This is just for one particular board anyway. Of course, I have a number of boards. Secret weapon, mission engineering, active volume control. Yes, I love that. Um, of course, there we go. We got a big white mess of cable. Love, which we love. Oh, let's see. I'm probably gonna break so many cardinal pedal board rules. But here you go, this is what I use, so. There's really no reason to hide it. Um, of course, divine noise, white cables of prominence, providence, prominence, Pro prominence, I guess, or providence, I don't know. I've got a coiler and I've got a straight. White cables are the best. Why? Because uh, you can see them. Yeah. And then for power, believe it or not, on the money making board, which is what this is, this is the board I use for some groups where I go out and play and actually get paid a decent amount of lettuce to do it. Um, I use a one spot. Yeah, no kidding. Just a good old visual sound one spot. It works. Um, I've got other boards that have uh, the pedal power from Voodoo Labs or the power plant. Um, what else? Some other power block brick things. But for this board, this is the working board. I just use a, a one spot. It works great. Uh, the pedals are as follows, right here, the old faithful Crybaby Classic, which is uh, just a little bit darker than your standard Crybaby. I go guitar in, head on over here to the JHS Sweet Tea, which is sweet, for sure. Uh, basically a tube screamer and a Marshall tone. Everything you would need dirt-wise, except for, of course, the Fuzz Factory 7 from Zvex Effects which is the, um, oh, what would I say, the best bombastic, explosive, uh, runny diaper fuzz uh, on the market. Dynamite, love it, and actually use it a whole lot. Uh, the context, reverb from Red Panda, and yes, reverb does still suck, but a lot of times I uh, have to use it, so when I do, I want the best. This is the best reverb if uh, you're into that kind of thing. Uh, what else here? DD5, classic Boss DD5. Uh, I could go Strymon, I could go all these other directions, but guess what? This works, it sounds great, it does exactly what I need it to do, and uh, it doesn't take up a lot of space. Really no other reason, it's just it's what I use because it's what I use, and it works. Uh, TU3 tuner, I have other tuners on other boards. I use the Chord Pitch Black, I use the Polytune. Um, anyway, I use all of those, I like them all. This particular one is just the one that went on the board. No rhyme or reason. Uh, that's it, we'll set it up maybe and check it out in another demo, but I wanted to show you the, the unpacking of the Gearman uh, mess. So that's box number one over there. Oh, the volume pedal goes last in my chain so that it um, can control like my dirty sound and whatnot. This is like, the, the magic box. You have everybody's got to have a magic box in their rig. You can't just have a pedal board. This is all where all of the magic happens right here. This is all the secret stuff. Uh, things that I may need, backup stuff. Um, other things like, uh, well, for instance, the most important part of my rig would be the fan. Yes, this is everyone should have their own personal fan. And uh, in case nobody likes you, no, just kidding. Um, the fan. It's not, I mean, enough said. Sometimes it's hot. Sometimes you just want your long flowing locks to uh, to be blown back and this does it. Yeah, fan. Love the fan. What else? An assortment of uh, bandanas. Why? Uh, I don't know because I guess I think I'm eccentric or something. Also to wipe sweat. Uh, more of the same. More bandanas. Oh, Luther Drive. Luther Drive, in case my pedal board goes down on me or anything and like I have to just go one pedal without yanking the board apart, boom. Keep a Luther Drive with a battery in it, in the box, ready to go.
case something happens with my rig or my board, this is, of course, my favorite. But since I already had the Tube Screamer in the JHS Sweet Tea, I don't need a Luther on that particular board. But I keep one for backup. Yep, uh, what else here? Slides, this is a bag with slides. I believe every slide in here is exactly the same. It's funny, I have like five slides. They're all the same slide, um, which are these Dunlop Pyrex uh, 215s. The 215er, that's for me. And there's about five of them in there. Um, I tend to leave them behind. Uh, oh look, more bandanas and stuff, yeah. This is a little pick box, I don't know. It's just what I keep picks in for no reason other than I just can't bring myself to do Altoids boxes because, well, you know, because all you, all you guys are doing that. I can't, I can't do that. So this is like a pick box I got from a music store. They, you know, if you go to your local store, just say, hey, when you run out of picks in this uh, Dunlop box or Martin box or whatever, can I have that? Most likely they'll say yes, because they probably just throw it away. Uh, it holds picks and it holds slides. It usually sits on top of the amp or just in this box behind the amp. Uh, what else? Extra cables and they gotta be white. Uh, let's, ooh look, iPhone charger. Yeah, totally. Keep that in your box. Man, these are modern times, I'll tell you what. What else is in here? We got uh, an extension cord because apparently sound companies don't believe in supplying uh, power anywhere near your amp or pedal. So extension cord, more cables, um, patch, extra patch cables. Hello. What else do we have here? Oh gosh, of course, a pick clip. A Dunlop pick clip that's also got the little slide holder on it. Why? Uh, because, you know, I think I'm awesome and a rock star, so I gotta have clips with picks on my mic stands and my slide there for easy access. And uh, yeah, I'm just kidding, not really a rock star, but you can pretend like you are if you got a damn pick clip in your rig, so get one. Um, this is like a little secret box. This would be um, like a Duncan pickup box. It's got a battery, earplugs, lots of earplugs, more picks, business cards. If you have business cards, hello, take them to the gig. Don't forget them. Um, yeah, picks of assorted uh, sizes too, in case I have a guest picker that thinks they need to sit in and play. Um, oh, look. Breath mints. Why? Because you need them. Breath mints. Uh, extra strap. Yep. Just a plain old extra strap. Some zip ties. Extra power cable. Can you believe how much I've got in this one box? It's, I mean, it's pretty well thought out. Uh, polished cloth extra Marshall cable or, you know, regular power cable. Um, a straw for some reason. I don't think we actually need that. I think that was because I was playing with a female that had lipstick and uh, I kept an extra straw in the box for her. Anyway, I don't know. Um, blue tape, because we must. Blue tape is greatest. Yes, another patch cable. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. We're, we're almost empty, except for all these side compartments which all have strings. Let's see, Feedback Buster. Of course, that's not for me because I don't use the acoustic live, but I swear to God, every artist I play with, they show up with their flat top, they start playing it, and it's just going, ooh, ooh, and they're like, what the hell? And I'm like, dude, Feedback Buster, $8. Put it in your damn guitar and shut up. Um, strings, lots and lots of strings, of course. DR is what I use because they are awesome. Love DR strings. They're great. They're phantasmo. Um, you know, clippers and uh, spinner. A couple of just weird things like a couple of different screwdrivers. A um, couple of rubber bands for no reason other than, hey, you never know. They don't take up much space and you might be able to use them for something. I don't know. Maybe your drummer cracks his snare off and you have to use it to rig the snare back up. Uh, that's it. So, yeah, that's a whole bunch of stuff just to take out and gig. Now granted, 99% of the stuff that came out of this box really never gets touched or used. I pretty much, you know, if I need the fan, I take the fan out. Other than that, it's, uh, you know, picks. I'm basically just carrying picks in this box. But if something goes down, something goes wrong, this cat right here, that would be me. I'm totally prepared. I'm ready for anything. Are you? Yeah.